Last video, we were talking about pipe. Today we're talking about pipe accessories. Stick around. Fellas, welcome back. It's Robert, your everyday gentleman. So like I mentioned in the previous video, we talked about pipe. Today we're gonna to talk about the accessories that you're gonna need whenever you're smoking pipe. Now, there's a number of different options when it comes to that. I'm gonna go over some that I think are the essential necessities that you're gonna need without a doubt whenever you're smoking pipe. And then some of the other things that I have in my pipe toolbox just to make your pipe smoking experience a little bit more pleasurable. But before we get into it, if this is your first time here, I wanna welcome you. If you're into not only pipe, but also things like men's style, fragrances, grooming, fitness, whiskey, cigars, and other topics for the everyday man, then this might be the place for you. Consider subscribing and joining the growing EG family. And if you're already a member, I wanna thank you for your continued support. And without further delay, let's talk about these pipe accessories. Okay, so you've got your pipe, you've got it packed with tobacco, and I know we haven't talked about the pipe tobacco yet, but that's coming, I promise. But you've got it packed and ready to go. So the first item that you're gonna need is obviously a source of fire. Now, any kind of soft flame lighter will work, although I will recommend staying away from two different types of lighters. One is a Zippo, and this is just my personal opinion because I have heard people say that they have you know, no issues using a Zippo lighter at all. But to me, the uh, fumes and the, the odor that you get from the fuel that goes into a Zippo, it's just not pleasurable to me. They are cool lighters, but I, uh, I typically stay away from those. The other type of lighter that you wanna avoid is a torch lighter. Now I do have torch lighters, obviously I smoke cigars and when I smoke a cigar, that's usually the lighter that I like to go with. But that flame is very intense. It's too intense for something like pipe tobacco. Now I talked about uh, in my previous video how you can spend a pretty good amount of money on some of these pipes. And the last thing that you wanna do is put a, a, a very intense flame on it and then risk damaging your pipe. So I would recommend staying away from those torches the main thing that you want to go with is some kind of soft flame lighter. Uh, a Bic will do just fine. Obviously you can use a match, just make sure that tip burns off uh, before you apply the flame to your tobacco. Now, I myself have a pipe lighter. Um, the difference between this and your standard soft flame lighter is that you'll see, I don't know if you can make it out on the video there, but the flame comes out at an angle. And uh, what that does is it makes it easy to apply that flame to your pipe and, uh, and light it up. Now, one of the really cool things about this lighter too is it also carries some of the next tools that we're gonna to talk about, starting with the tamper. Now, the tamper is on here, and what the tamper is for is uh, mainly to compress the tobacco as you're smoking it, as you're lighting it. This helps it to uh, uh, keep it in there nice and, nice and uh, packed. The other thing too is uh, if you pack it too loosely, this will help Tight, uh, tighten things up a little bit more. Having it too loose is more of a chance of it uh, turning off on you. Now, as far as tampers, there's different ways you can get them. Obviously, like I said, uh, you have the one that I have here, which is just a little bent piece of metal on the lighter. They also sell uh, kits like this, that's a three in one. Um, I'll talk about the other tools that come on this in a little bit. You can have just a standard tamper, like this pewter one. Uh, and then my favorite one is this, uh, this one here. Um, as you know, obviously, I enjoy whiskey, and this tamper is actually made out of a piece of a, of a whiskey barrel. You can see uh, on the inside, it has some of that charring uh, from the inside of the barrel, and then it was shaped into a tamper along with a, uh, a pick on the other side. Now, a pick is actually the next thing that we're gonna talk about. Obviously, you have one here, and uh, it's also in these three-in-one tools I mentioned uh, just now. Uh, these tampered tools that are three in ones are pretty cool because they have your tamper on there and then they have your pick and then a reamer tool we'll talk about the reamer tool in a little bit but as far as a pick what this does is it helps you pick at the tobacco if you pack the bowl too tight it, what this does is it helps you to uh, open up a little hole down the center and makes that draw a little bit easier if you're cleaning, this will help to get into the little uh, nooks and crannies, a little hole at the bottom of the bowl that helps it, you know, bring the smoke out. You can use this to clean that up a little bit. So this is a handy little tool to have. Uh, my pipe lighter has it as well on here. And then obviously it also has that last tool, which is the reamer tool. 
Now the reamer tool is a little piece of metal that's kind of paddle shaped and sometimes it'll have some serrations on the edge there. And uh, what this tool does is once you're done smoking, then you're gonna wanna run this on the edge of the inside of the, of the bowl just to kind of clean off some of the stuff that sticks on there. Now, one of the things that happens when you're smoking is uh, you start building up what's known as cake on the inside of the of the bowl this is a good thing you don't want to eliminate that but you do want to you know you don't want it to build up too much either so this helps to kind of keep that in check as uh, as you're smoking out of the uh, out of the pipe the other thing you can use this for is as you're smoking some people like to remove the the ash so you can use the, the tip of it and just kind of scoop it out but these are the three main tools that you're going to need along with your lighter now everything else that I'm going to talk about next is uh, what I would consider more optional. Actually, before we get into those, there is one more thing I almost forgot to mention that is a necessity, and that's your pipe cleaner. Now, um, cleaning your pipe is gonna be very important. Um, these pipe cleaners are your standard things. You might've uh, seen these in, when you were in school, doing some projects or whatever, uh, but this is a um, tool that you're gonna use to clean the pipe after you're done smoking whether to you know, remove some of the tobacco, some of the buildup on the inside, also remove some of the moisture that builds up, obviously you know, from saliva, from smoking it. There's a couple different ways of cleaning the pipe. I'm not gonna get into it right now, but I do a standard cleaning after every time I smoke, and then I do a deeper cleaning after I've been smoking that pipe for some time. I'll be working up a future video on how I do that. Um, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that video. Now, like I mentioned, these next items aren't necessities, but they do make your smoking experience a little more pleasurable. Um, the first thing we're gonna talk about is the ashtray. The ashtray obviously is good to have whenever you're smoking, whether it's cigars or pipe, whatever it is, good to have somewhere to put the ash so it's not all over the floor, it's not making a mess. Now, what makes a pipe ashtray different from your standard ashtray, even your standard cigar ashtray, is two things. One is you're gonna have this, uh, this cork knocker on the inside. This is very important uh, because you, you wanna be able to knock some of that ash and tobacco out of your pipe um, once you're done smoking or as you're smoking it. Now, it being cork is important because, like I mentioned before, your pipe it can have some significant money uh, invested in it. Uh, and even if you didn't, obviously you don't want to damage the pipe if you, don't, if you don't need to. So having this made out of cork makes it easy for you to put a little force behind that bump and not worry about damaging it. Or in the case of the ashtray, this one's made out of ceramic, you don't want to break the ashtray either. So having this little cork knocker on there makes it easy to get that tobacco out of there uh, once you're done smoking your bowl. The other cool thing is uh, not all ashtrays have this, but this one does, is it has these little scoops on the edge here that work as pipe stands. So you can rest your pipe once you're done smoking or taking a break in between puffs or whatever it is, you can rest it on here so that you don't have to have a separate pipe stand or you don't have to worry about it just laying on its side or possibly rolling off the, uh, the table onto the floor or anything like that. So uh, an ashtray is definitely something I would consider uh, you add to your toolbox. Now the next thing to consider is a pipe stand. Now, pipes aren't always made to stand by themselves. Um, this one has a round bottom, so if you try to stand it on the table, it's gonna roll around, might roll off the table like I mentioned. So having a pipe stand makes it easy for you to stand it up and not worry about it going anywhere. You know, holds it upright, makes it a little more aesthetically pleasing as well. This particular pipe stand is a little folding number that makes it easy to carry around. It just uh, opens up and it becomes a handy little uh, pipe stand. Um, there's different ways that you can uh, have these set up. There's some wooden ones that, uh, that I actually have. I just didn't bring it out with me, but it uh, folds open. And it's one that I typically use for my Meerschaum. I'll uh, include it in some B-roll here for the, uh, for the video. And then there's also, uh, I've seen some that are made out of leather. These leather ones uh, are kind of like a loop and they also work very well for uh, holding different types of, uh, of pipes. Um, you also have fixed ones that don't fold. They aren't as compact, but they do work very well at holding your pipe up as well. So a pipe stand is definitely something I would recommend. Not required, but definitely something I would recommend that it just makes it more pleasurable to smoke. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is a uh, tray for your tobacco. Now, you don't necessarily need this here, but it is a good idea to have something mainly for the reason that 
certain tobaccos benefit from drying out before you actually smoke them. Uh, especially if you're looking at uh, tobaccos like aromatics. Um, if a tobacco is too wet, it's too, too much moisture in it, it's gonna make it harder to stay lit for one. And then two, you have more of a chance of potentially getting things like tongue bite. A tongue bite, like I mentioned in the previous video, is where you get some soreness from smoking too much, smoking too fast, smoking too hot, or because there's too much moisture in the tobacco that you're, that you're smoking. So by having some kind of tray that you could put your tobacco on, let it rest for you know 30 minutes, an hour, kind of depends on the particular tobacco that you're smoking. Um, but having something that you can rest it on there is a good idea just so it can dry out and air out before you smoke it. But a tobacco tray is a good idea to have. Now the last thing I'm gonna talk about is um, something that you may need, uh, may wanna look into if you're planning to smoke on the road when you're out and about or on a trip. You definitely want to look into getting yourself a travel case. Now a travel case is a good idea because it's going to make traveling with your pipe a lot easier. This is going to have some things made specifically to carry a pipe. Uh, for starters, you're going to have a little removable pouch on the inside. And this pouch has a little zipper and it makes it easy for you to pack your tobacco um, so you can take that with you on the go. The other thing that this case has is these loops here on the side and what these are for is for you to slide the stem of your pipe and it holds your pipe as you're traveling. Um, obviously you don't want your pipe to be rolling around, you want to take care of that pipe so these little uh, loops make it easy for you to do that. I'll just carry one pipe on there and then I'll carry my, uh, my lighter on it as well. You do have some additional features on here, you have some pouches on the side, a little sleeve, a little zipper pouch. Um, this is going to carry your accessories like your pipe stand. Um, you can throw your lighter in there, your tamper tool in there, put all of that in there and then uh, zip it up and this case makes for a nice clean compact easy to carry kit that uh, lets you take your pipe pretty much anywhere you want to go now that's pretty much it as far as the main accessories that i have in my toolbox um, there are some things that i haven't talked about um, that are options for when you're smoking that me personally i don't really use because i haven't enjoyed uh, one of which is a pipe filter um, I just don't like the draw that you get with a pipe filter, but a pipe filter is an option that you can do. The other thing that's available is uh, these uh, rubber tips that go onto the lip of the uh, stem. And that's supposed to help make things easier, like if you're clenching the pipe. I just don't like the feeling um, of that rubber uh, you know, on my teeth. So I've tried it, it wasn't for me, so I don't, I don't use those, but I have heard some people do uh, enjoy using them. So there's also screens that you can put on, into the bowl of the, um, of, of the pipe. I really only use those on my corn cobs because the, the shank will actually go into the bowl and it leaves some spaces on the side of the bowl at the bottom that makes it a little bit more difficult for you to clean out once you're done smoking the pipe. So it just makes it easier for you to clean after smoking. Um, that's really the only time that I use screens. I don't use them pretty much on any other type of, uh, of, uh, of pipe. Now that pretty much wraps up my video. Um, the, like I mentioned, these are the main things that I would recommend that you go with if you're starting to get into pipe tobacco. And if nothing else, make sure you obviously get yourself a source of fire and then your tamper tool, uh, the three in one makes it easy for you to have everything in one spot. Outside of that, everything else just makes things a little bit easier. Oh, and your pipe cleaners. Now, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you let me and you to know by hitting that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, and do all the things that help this channel continue to grow. Like I mentioned, I've got uh, my upcoming video talking about pipe tobacco, so make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell so you don't miss that one. Now, remember, being a gentleman is an everyday thing. Now, excuse me while I light this bad boy back up. Cheers, fellas. We bump and get pretty hot. I'm as happy as I can be. Uh,